Okay. Today, let's do data structures in C. I think how I want to do this is rolling it all into a library and trying to build it out from there. So let's see, we can do, let's see if I can remember how to make a make file for a library. Make file, list, uh, C, this isn't limbo, list.h, and start with the little stuff linked lists before I have to break out a reference. And then I do want to do some kind of testing here. And I'm not really sure how that usually happens. I'll try to come up with something, but we'll start with this. Make a make file, make a .c, make a .h, the usual. And then I think it's the source. Let's see how system libraries go about exposing their make files and whatnot. Let's pick a small one, what looks like an easy one. Maybe libbio. Sounds like one that won't have a ton of dependencies. Make syslib. Oh yes, yeah, so this is the part where I remember that there's make syslib. Doesn't want to plumb that for me. Shame. Trailing slash should plumb it as a directory or something. Sys source. Okay, hold on. Uh, so sys source CMD, I think it is. Yeah. Um, look in here separately. We do separate includes in individual C files. Set that aside as well. It's .h. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Rep. Make. Get those. Make lib. That's the one I probably want. And it'll probably be a similar structure. So let's yank out this part, <clears throat> figuring it'll probably be similar. Stop. Trim it down to a stop. Oh. And then, this is to say where it is. Um, obviously, it should have a real location one day, but for now, Let's say home source ds. Is that the same structure? Oh, I see. That's where the archive is supposed to be. Um, yeah, we'll do this that way then. ds. H files. This include ds.h. Source cmd. Make. Uh, what would we make syslib, I guess, so we can install it as like a global library? Because I know I did make lib, but I may, I may be a little confused at what the difference might be. So libobj, libdir, default all lib, libobj. This is lib right here. This looks like a boilerplate for the, whatchamacallit, <clears throat> make file itself, libdir, mm. oh I see, so you can set libdir and that, so okay, let's, let's get rid of this, 
make lib. And lib dear. Can I find any examples of the source? Um, does that work? Oh god. I don't remember how XRX is supposed to work. Oh dear. <laughs> oh I see, it's because I'm using a DU. I was close. Okay. Hold on. A little pipeline here real quick. Lock with column two. Let's try that. Okay. So places with make lib and the make file. I know I'm supposed to use walk for this on nine front, but I can't be bothered at the moment. Lib panel. These are like the nested libraries, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe we do want to make this lib. A sneaky suspicion that that's what we want. So let's read um, make this lib. And let's see. This is a little smaller. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just go with this boilerplate and see what happens. I guess we come in here to make that looks right. Uh did actually actually do this? Okay. Archive random library. That's kind of silly. Why does it say random? Could be any library. Kind of informal. Not, not quite what I'd expect, I suppose. All right, well, for now, this is okay. So, linked list. I guess I could make a singly linked and a doubly linked list and we could build them separately. And the problem was sharing nodes between them. So it could be, could have a union. I'm trying to remember if one of the gimmicks of plan 9C is that it supports tagged unions. Um, or not tagged unions, oh my god. Um, Anonymous unions. I think it does. So let's go check out. There's a document I'm thinking of. Um, see programming in plan nine. There it is. I don't want that. I want, yeah, big screen. Okay. Let's put this over here. Let me see if I can find some examples of unions. Let's see, manipulating files, UTF-8, just did stuff with that. Buffered I.O., familiar with that. Aside on linking, they say. Oh yeah, they have this uh, pragma lib thing that's kind of cool um we should probably pick up on that cat slash sys slash include slash uh, i don't know draw dot h except we want to do set 11 q probably yeah there it is got these two little pragmas we can stuff at the top and this is libts.a, and for now we're gonna do slash user slash glenda slash source slash ds for the directory. Um, and these tell these give hints to the linker, as I recall. I mean, they probably explain it here. Pragma source says what the source code is. Pragma lib says what the library's actual name is. <clears throat> yeah, 
So they say like libc.a tab is represented by that, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Processes and notes. Not looking for that. Where is the cool compiler stuff? Is that in a different paper? It might be in like the fourth edition papers. The compilers? Is that what comp is? Oh. How to use the Plan 9C compiler. All right. Teach me your ways. Only slightly correct. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see. No, that is definitely still correct. My bad. I had misread it. Some of the articles are a little outdated. Arguments, extensions. Yeah, there we go. So we might be able to implement it as a struct with a union so that like we only sometimes include like the for a doubly linked list, we could have an anonymous union indicating like previous for it to go back. And that way we don't um yeah, there it is. So it has an anonymous union. I wonder what happens. I'm not super familiar with it. Um, I wonder what happens if you put, like if you just have a union with one element, does it always select that element? Like could you have nothing as an alternative? I'm not super familiar. Hmm. Maybe that's uh, over optimizing a little bit, but it'd be kind of neat. Rather, I wonder if there's a way to define something that's like zero size. Maybe just void, I guess. Like one byte. I guess you could do like a char, and then at worst you're eating up uh, one byte instead of a full like 64 bit pointer or whatever. So what, 64 divided by 8, eight, 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 eight bytes or whatever. Is that how that works? I think that's how that works. So we'll at least do that, I suppose. And we can do singly and doubly linked list stuff. So let's do the usual stuff. Type def struct list. List, list. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. All right, so struct list. And this lets us use just the term list with this uh, typed up here. Let's put in our little union here. Is this, is this right? Yeah, I guess so. And we can have... Um, So we'll also define, so this is going to be list node actually, and then type def struct list node, list node. So you can't just use node, that would be, that'd be too easy. Um, for now, I'll say char. Okay, how would it be anonymous? List node previous. List node next. Okay. And then for the actual lift it, list itself, wow, I wonder how many times I'm going to do that. We'll define a head. List node. Head, and then do size, size. Okay. Defines list 
from the head. This could also, I suppose, do the same thing where we could uh, have a like, head and tail as separate things. I guess tail... I'm not going to think about that too much. I don't know how idiomatic that is. But I guess we'd union it off anyways. Doubly linked. Oops. linked things and this is next node in the list finds a node in the list previous node in the list ah. oops ah. okay so first saving. I hope I can get away with putting like a void in there or something. But make clean that make. Okay. Oh, I see. Because the list will have to be defined. After that, that's fine. Okay. Unnamed structure element must be a struct slash union. I do that wrong. Are we not allowed to have like recursive types in there? Interesting. Get rid of this make file real quick. Let's look at this error a bit better. Unnamed structure element must be struct union. I'm gonna go with Let's just do this for now. Um, okay. So I could make an empty struct, I guess. And so then I could have a def struct empty empty struct empty. I could have empty. Do that. Last name empty syntax error. So not like that very much. I just wanted to have something in it. I know that's a thing you can do in like Go, is you can just write like a struct. Maybe I can do. Because I see they, they have like a anonymous structure here. If I just do struct empty incomplete union element. Okay. So can't quite do that. I guess that'll want to have something defined up there. So could I do struct empty there. Last name empty. Okay, so it really wants to have something in there. And just do void. Incomplete. Unnamed structure element. Must be void v. Let's do that. Incomplete union element. Okay. Um, Interesting. I bet there's a way to finagle this. I'm just being a little silly about it. I do like char v, right? Yeah, so that's gonna work. So I guess I could just do, I should just do like char. Um, I wonder if the size of a struct that holds just a char is the same size as a char. I feel like it has to be bigger. It has to take up more memory. So I should just do like char C. All right. Char D. 
evil. Here. Let's do that for now. Do, 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 do. Okay. Head, you size, size. All that's good in the world. All right. So got those there. And then we could, we should have like a list pointer make list. And do list uh, make list void. Can't forget that void in our definition so that we don't indicate that we might take any arguments. We want to take <clears throat> no arguments explicitly. C doesn't have this problem, but or not problem, but feature, I suppose. Create a new empty list. Oops, there we go. And then we just do return our um, list L. Return in allocated list. Allocated empty list. There we go. Bop, bop. Bop. There we go. Equals calic. Or we can use malloc z, I suppose, but uh, that's a little more plan 90. Yeah. Give it like a size. And it clears it out. I think that's a plan nine thing. Um, let's get this Acme a little bigger. Have a little more screen retail here. And now let's see. Show me. They never talk about it, or do they talk about it as like capital M Galaxy? Yeah, except that clear is not zero. Something I think I learned once upon a time is that Calic checks for overflow, Malik does not, of course, and Malik Z does not. Uh, let's add one little file here. Let's add util.o because of course and uh, touch util.c boop 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 um, and we'll need a ds.h so we'll need to do touch ds.h as well. Get this all to like flow together. And I actually want this in here rather than in the list better. This should um, pound include ds.h. There we go. Do this, do this, util.c, pound include, ds.h, <clears throat> and then we'll define, we'll define a r e functions for allocation. So let's create one right here, e calic. Where we do, um, let's see, I think I get to do this, sig calic, something like that. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Void e calic. And then we can take this, put that in here. And what this will do is we will just wrap our calic call. So we'll do um, equals calic null m else size if 
M is equal to nil. Turn M. And we'll do sysfatal. There. Calic failed. Set R to get the airster output. Okay, we'll put that in there, put that in there. All this together here, you know. <laughs> I think I get our includes right. Um, let's see if this checks out. Last name. Didn't like that. Ds.h. Syntax error. Excuse me? In macro expansion, NLM. Is that a macro? I think that means that, like, oh, um, that means that the, it's one of those stupid errors. Um, means that the type's not defined, which usually just means you forgot to include stuff. Close. No, so you are. The condition has gotten worse. Um, oh, I see, because it's a uh, few long. How does it get around this? How do, how do things get around this normally? What happens in, and where is Halloc from? It's probably in, oh, I guess it's in u.h and libc.h anyways. Can I just say, like, extern ecalic? Is that a thing I can do? Extern slash this slash include slash star. Can you like do that with? Yeah. To like lazily defer that. Hold on, I, I need to look up like a clean, clean screen. Syntax and macro expansion and allow. We're looking right here. Right, yeah. And its problem is definitely this U long bit. Um, here, where we've defined it, started. Alec. And this is at. Right, because it's here and we're including it here. And we're including it. Come on. Oh, that's in util. This is in list.c. Right. Because it doesn't know what u long is, but it should here because we've done that. This is like feels like one of those holes in my C. Ooh. Because the my instinct would be that you have to, you know, like define it somewhere like how does how, how do these get away with it like they don't pound include u.h and whatnot and yet they use like u long yeah like memdraw.h we've got all these u longs in here like what's up with what's up with this can i just plumb that like what do you do here they just do u long it's anonymous, sure. They say extern. Yeah, they just don't, you know. Pragma incomplete. It's not what I'm immediately familiar with. I mean, I don't think it... I certainly don't pound to find them here. What's up with that? Is it because I am... Giving them names, maybe. So I've got my little extern keyword here. Oh, not enough function arguments. Calic. Okay, that seems ecalic um, one size of list. We want to put it on the heap. And then we will return L. Okay, so the trick is not giving them a name. I think I knew that before. So let's, it's not a problem here. 
the sorry the function parameters don't give them a name where okay so now it's here and size are they actually like defined whoa, whoa, whoa. syntax in macro expansion then size let's just say that how about that deal i think fine got yes the h up here at void pointer extern all that good stuff and then it builds okay I guess I can build the tests as a program underneath this. So, or not as a, yeah, 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 as a program. So, make dear tests. Um, touch may not see. Touch make file. So we should be able to do like pound include u.h, pound include libc.h, pound include dot dot slash ds.h, and then void main int star star. This good stuff. <clears throat> and it does give us a cert. Um, I think libc.h has. Oh yeah, NLM is uh, is actually a macro. Um, so the macro expansion is a real thing. Hmm. I wonder how Calic gets away with it then. Is that like some kind of decidable thing? Or maybe it just doesn't matter. Fascinating. Um, cert. Pop. Okay. And then the pound define assert. Okay. If else, else, if else, if x, else, assert x. Oh. Seems fine. Not a hundred percent sure. Let me see. GR assert. Ren, we'll use the asterisk to get something literal. This source. I think lib 9p file has it. Source cmd. No. cd lib 9p. Um, g cert star. Yeah, okay. But we want to do it with a message, so we might as well just use sysfatal at that point. I don't know, we'll come up with something. Um, then this make file should be obj type, make file, of course, sys source, cmd, make one, I believe. O files equals main dot o and then I think I need to do like an LD flags for like LD flags equals LD flags and then we do like dash L dot dot dash i dot dot slash and then what is the linker flag for a linking directory like the directory to look in oh 
I know it's, they're supposed to, with like the libds thing, it's supposed to just kind of magic it. So for now, is this how this works? Okay, that seems to work. Um, so we can do test as a virtual target dependent on all. And then we can do um, and run it, I guess. OK, that seems to work. And then, of course, it should just return nil right now. Uh, estimate list. I guess. And then we do like void test make list. Should probably separate this into its own file, but that's easy enough in the future, you know? Void test make list. And then we do um, list um, pound include uh, slash list dot h. List. L equals um, make list. If L is equal to nil, oh no, it's just fatal. Uh, let's just make a function for now. Oh, variadic functions are kind of fast, though. Um, can I do like void? What would it be like? T fatal. Is that what I'd want to do? I guess one that like kills itself, or just T fail. So T fatal to like kill the program, and then or just kill all the tests, and then like T fail to fail the individual test. I guess something like that. Um, int the condition, and then um, I don't know char star. I guess um, char star message char star s. Uh, if ts return otherwise. This is fatal. Uh, test hard failed. Say fail. And then percent s and s. I guess that seems fine. Could definitely be fancier, but. And then I guess just the exact same function for t fail. And we can always change what these do in the future. Um, but if we wrap it now, um, f print, there we go, on standard error. It's this fatal works on standard error, anyways, I'm like pretty sure. Um, I guess I, I could have a, uh, like a pass. I guess that's the, if not, or if TF and then really return, but it's like, if, if the condition doesn't fail, is the one line path, so I feel like it should go there. Okay. If not TF. Or if TF. And then this one can have like an else, I suppose. Otherwise, we would say. Uh, 
pass. I guess we don't know what the test is either. This is why Go has the actual like testing type. That seems like a lot of work. I guess that saves you a bunch of information to pass in. And you like message, message, <laughs> star, star, T. Sent S. Passed. Um, T. Message. Sent S. Okay. Print whether a given test passes or fails. Now, if we want to do this, we have to do basically the same thing over here, except we use this fail. So once again. Sys fatal, sys fatal, okay, pass, sent as, okay. And testing if a given test does not pass. It could be a flag, but it could also just be a different function. Failed. And we'll have to just remember to use those, I suppose. Um, so then we can do uh, T fail. It's probably fatal if test whether we create a list. Okay. T fatal L. So er okay, so if the condition is true, it's not equal nil. T say char star T equals test make list. <laughs> it's kind of grody, but whatever. Um T and then list allocation failed. I guess most likely. And I believe since it uses ecalic, it'll guard this anyway. So this is kind of redundant, but this is more to about getting something down. And in void. Return. All right. Uh, exits. No, my bad. Oops, I'll get there one day. So then if I do make test, nice, pass, test make list. Um, and then maybe we can do even a like counter. So we can have a new size, pass, new size, failed, equals zero. Zero. Can I do that in line there? Will it let me? Nice. Um, and then at the end, we can do um, print percent D fast, percent LD failed. Um, and then we'll have a percent passing. Percent F. 
I guess, passing. There we go. Uh, don't forget our new lines here. Always going to forget those new lines. Hard failed. Sys failed doesn't need it. Okay. All right. All right. And then we do past failed. And then double. Double, double, double of a double, passing, passed, over, passed, plus failed. Okay, Make a test. Oh, I didn't, I didn't write it. Classic. Er. Is it mad at me? Why didn't I get text out? Print. Right here. Pass. <gasps> Shh, don't talk to me. Not about this. Oh my god. Yeah. Suicide. Invalid operation. Great. Love that. Oh, divide by zero, probably. Um I guess so. Also means we have to do this shit. Else. And then we'll do failed plus plus, passed plus plus, passed plus plus, and failed plus plus. Okay. Make a test. Percent. Low point. Oh. I do like here like three point oh. Um and then at the end here, I can do times 100.0 something. That's how this works. Make a test. Yeah, 100% passing. There we go. More format than arguments. That's not true. I guess this is kind of cursed. Um, Uh, percent double percent equals might be a bug. It's getting confused on that. More formats than arguments. Ow. Oh, 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 it wouldn't hurt for me to put it somewhere else, anyways. Oh, so I have to do like percent percent or whatever. There we go. Okay. Now we have some kind of testing set up. So that's nice. And we pass. Always good. Um, and then at the end here we should um you know free. Our list. 
Okay. The trickier part is going to go up here. Um, oop. So we obviously have the test thing here. And then down here, we probably also have to do kind of this janky script thing. And I'm actually kind of impressed that uh, that linking and everything just worked with that little hint. Like I added the include directory one level above. I don't even know if I need that, but I'll leave it there since it seems to work. Um, CD, what is that in? Tests? Make test. Something like that. So then I go up, make test. Oh, oh, it's so good. All right. All right, so we got like an actual <clears throat> testing thing up. I don't really plan on editing that many, but it's nice to know we have a precedent set and it works. Let's get rid of this for now. It'll be useful as we go forward. Just kind of clean up my screen a little bit. <clears throat> I say I might want to explain when the way this make file works is it will import. So un unlike traditional make files, we could call this a make file or whatever. Slight inflection difference. Uh, you can of course import. That's what this little like left arrow is. Object type is going to be our system's current object type. So we have a this is the architecture um, our C compilers should be targeting. And we have our true type for our CPU, which this happens to be a 32-bit machine. Uh, booting a 32-bit kernel, building for 32-bit. Uh, we could, of course, build for other architectures by just changing object type, and things would respect that, and it would change our imports, respectively. It's also the same reason I use in the um, tests make file. Um, why I use dollar o dot out is because dollar o set by object type make file sets the out file number for the architecture. So eight in this case is the magic number for three eight six thirty two bit x eighty six. So, <laughs> next what we will do, so we can allocate a list, let's make an append function, and we're going to do all singly linked stuff first. So, um, append to the, or do prepend first, prepend to the front of the list. So we'll do the star append and we will have to take a list in and to make composition a bit easier we'll return the list as well when we're done. <clears throat> and then we'll this is uh, basically the same as push you know but you could always alias it but prepend says ex exactly what it does on the 10 and I like that. And we could also, I guess, have our list keep a tail pointer. Uh, I'm more interested in it keeping a head pointer for now. You can probably get a tail pointer in there without too much work. It would only need handled for what um, append and. <clears throat> Um, deleting an element. Uh, we can't forget also, I know I, I totally left this out, but can't forget the actual data we're going to store. Data stored in Node. Okay. So if uh, L is equal to nil, return L, 
uh, that's our short circuit case. If we get passed in a nil list, we don't want to process a nil pointer. And then if L dot head is equal to, I'm just going to take this and stuff it over here. Uh, make sure this still works good. Um, if L dot head is equal to nil, then we need to just empty list. And otherwise, depend to head, place. Okay. And it's an empty list, then we'll need to make a new list node. And we'll say l.head is equal to list node no is equal to n. And from this point forward, we'll need an allocated list node. And we'll also need the datum. So void pointer datum. L.head equals n, return l. This node equals ecalic one size of this node. And then place head. So otherwise we'll have to say, and we, we also want to manage our size. So um, I guess, is it worth it for it to be redundant here? I guess we just have two branches. I don't have to aggressively happy path, I suppose. Because we'll have to do um, L dot s L size plus plus. We have to be doing this this whole way. List node n equals ecalic one size of node, put it on the heap, all that good stuff. Head empty list, heap ahead, place head. L uh, list node hold equals L head. L Head equals n, n next equals old. I guess I can just do n next equals l head and avoid the variable and then do l head equals n. There we go. Nice substitution there. And then we increase the size by one. Right, l dot size l. Uh, it's equal to zero. We should do that. And that seems fine. Does it build? Got angry. Parameter declared and not used. Oh, yes, I suppose so. Um, L head dot datum equals datum. Start with that. Incompatible. Okay. L head need to be a pointer. Instruct list node for op dot. Always use arrows. There we go. Okay. So now if we go down into our test directory. And then make and then make test. I guess we should just always be doing that, huh? Um, keep this open. And then let's do uh, 
uh, test pend list. Do void test prepend list. Come up here, steal like all of this test prepend list. We need a list. Um, we'll just assume it succeeds. And then we'll do i or i equals zero, i is less than, I don't know, 10. Let's do an odd number. I'm a big fan of testing with odd numbers. Let's do seven even. i plus plus. Um, prepend l, not using the, you know, tail bit there. Uh, prepend l. And I times I do that, and then down here we'll do T fail. Syntax here is condition T. Uh, T should really be like first, it's like the least important thing. So let's put that here unify the signatures Shloop. okay and then that'll be the same there t fail t uh l size does not equal uh, int n equals seven let's make that a variable it's not equal n depend expansion failed depend expansion let's do that and then even more so to make sure we can iterate it we should be able to do for um Should be able to, yeah, we should be able to iterate it. So let's say list node ln equals l head or and then let's do u size count is zero or list node ln ln is the head um, ln is not equal nil ln equals ln next standard iterator do count plus plus and then we'll do if count does not equal n prepend iteration say that test prepend list probably because I typoed it oh didn't put the void up oh. Kyle struct struct uh, function not declared prepend right because it needs to be in the header so let's do that put that all the way down here so much work to add a function in C really is just like chore Come on, you can do it. List star, void star. Guess we can compact that a little bit. Up, up. All the way down to the bottom. Not a parameter. Make list. What? Syntax error. Last name void. What? What? Oh. Got the semicolon. Kept reading. Fell over. Prototype mismatch. End. 
um, s slash. Let's go here. L. Oh, I see. Um, void pointer and Can I do that? Is that like too cursed? Not an L value? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I need to make my own shell in here that I can do like make test in for the replier bits. That not an L value. Pain in the ass. Um struct list node instruct list node head do i have head set up to not be a pointer should be a pointer yeah exactly and then list node next is also a pointer so what's up with that oh because i'm referencing it for some reason okay not an L value. Okay, so the hard part is that we've got this uh, stupid little thing going on. So we'll do this V pop. And you should never do this, but we'll do it anyways. Void pointer V equals um, and I times I. Can I just do that, please? Please use and not set on L value. Here, wait, hold on. I need like a little more visual space here on an L value. Is that why I can't take the address of it? Uh, I don't know. And V. And V. There we go. I don't know. Figure it out. Failed. Okay, so T fail. Oh, I see this is the part where we could add like nicer printing or something because now we don't have a uh, without like arguments or a variadic function. It's a little harder. Not impossible, just a little harder. Um, so we can do like S. <laughs> I don't really want to do SM print, but uh, can I just do? I, I guess that's that's like the answer, because otherwise S print. You have to give it an actual string, anyways. Right. Yeah. And SM print takes its own string. What's a little memory leak between friends? SM print. Uh, size. Expected percent D dot percent D. <laughs> we got. Um, N, I guess, and then I don't know, L size, whatever. What did I get for that? Oh, I see. L size, I'm like doing it backwards. I got something kind of nice out of it, I guess. Yeah. Make test. Pass. Everything passes. Excellent. Okay. I guess if I'm always going to call it with SM print, 
I could try to just free the message at the end. That seems fine. Because that would be unreachable otherwise. No. Oh dear. Should not have done that. Oh, because it'll double free. Oh my god, Let's see. Oh my god. Um no, but it well, but it calls it twice. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it says double free, but why would it double free? Because it uh calls oh, fuck. it calls SM print twice individually. Oh, I guess I could. I have ones that aren't SM printed, and I should just do that. Um, T fatal, yeah, like here, SM print. So we probably tried to free something on the stack. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can just leave the freeze in there. Okay. 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 Output. Lists. Okay. <laughs> nicely get the right amount of size I probably only have so much endurance in me this will probably let's try to do delete and then I might need to be done this is already pushing like an hour it's about the patience I have right now or we could do append Delete's more useful. Let's do delete. Um, I say prepend, but it should uh, maybe like list prepend. Even though that's really verbose. Um, edit slash prepend. Let's prepend g just regex everything in the submission. And a file. What? Oh, that's wacky. Format mismatch. You long. Where? No longer. Make clean and and make test. Oh, because it's a long decimal. Right. Sorry. It is D. There's probably some, you know, integer overflow in there somewhere. This also doesn't uh, clean the one below, but I guess it doesn't need to. Or rather, uh, libds is not cleaning the thing below it. Okay, so that seems fine. Test list prepend list. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> horrible naming. All right, so let's do. I guess. Oh, okay. For delete, though, the correct way of doing it is to give it a comparator function, right? Wow, I don't think I have the brain cells to do that right now. So let's do append. <laughs> it's gonna be a very similar function. Append to the end of the list. List append. Put. 
This stuff happened. Trailing new line or it screams. Append to the end of the list. Alright, nil, do nothing. L is head, become head. And then replace tail. And then we need to have um, n datum. So we'll copy in the node. Can't use the L head thing. So then for here, what we have to do, we do in i, no, int this node. LM equals uh, two. Or we'll just do this. Or LN equals L head. LN is not equal nil. LN next is not equal nil. Ln equals ln next. So this should cursor through the list. Do nothing each iteration except cursor through until ln next is nil. And then next equals ln ne n next becomes nil. L head remains untouched and ln next equals n okay and then let's get a test for this let's do the exact same function except for append hate this. Test list and that's that's the pen list. God. God. <laughs> it can't. Um Test and okay, this can just be a append list too. This doesn't need to say test in it. Okay. Append list. Make a list. It's append. Say free L, but I need to free every node in L2. We'll insert deletes later. We'll just delete everything and then test a singular insert and singular delete separately and just accept that we're gonna leak for now. I guess I don't know for that. We do delete contents, delete free contents. Let's depend. Okay. Wow. Great. Awesome. We passed. Love that. So a pen just works. That's just correct. All right. I'm going to end that on a happy note. I'll finish up list next time I do this. I'm sitting at about, that was uh, about an hour and a half. Sounds about right. A um, little slow, but lots of setting up infrastructure to make the future go faster. Um, thank you for watching.